Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. It seems to appear that top political leaders in Kenya today have decided to use their cronies and their close political allies to deliver their messages. Earlier today, Wavinya Ndeti delivered Kalonzo's message to their supporters, insinuating that actually Kalonzo might eventually work with Azimio Tigo. And again today, William Ruto has cleverly used Johnson Mudama, Uda's national chairman, to deliver a message to Musalia Mudavadi and Moses Masika Wetangola. So in this video, I want us to listen keenly to Johnson Mudama, after which, as usual here, we are going to dissect that to see exactly its deeper political meaning. Listen into this. And speak in volumes. That UDA is a national political party. ANC is a political party. Ford Kenya is a political party. And as we are speaking now, and you are being assured this by the national chairman of UDA, there is no agreement whatsoever that has been signed between the three political parties. There is no coalition agreement that has been arrived between the three political parties. What is there is we are friends. We'll continue speaking, we'll continue talking, we'll continue doing things together. But when the time of agreeing on the coalition terms comes, then that issue will be dealt with at that particular time. So our supporters, wherever you are, rest assured that your party is intact, your party is not in coalition agreement, your party has not yet signed any coalition agreement, and if that will be done later on, you'll be informed on what are the terms of the agreement that will be signed. Yes, that's Johnstone Mudama. And keen political observers will tell you that that's William Ruto speaking through Johnstone Mudama. So it seems to appear that as others draw nearer, top politicians, top political leaders have decided to speak through their cronies. What does that mean politically? That's our analysis and discussion right now. So if in case you've just bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya. Yes. From that short clip, Johnstone Mudama starts by saying, Oda is a national party. ANC is a political party. Ford Kenya is a political party. Johnstone Mudama there is cleverly trying to say that as things stand today, in their, that alliance of theirs, is only Oda that is a national party. These others are just mere political parties. So they are not equal partners. The issue of principles, equal partners should not arise in their alliance. Because some few years back or some months back, we used to see Wetangula and Mudavadi coming out to just term that they were equal partners in NASA coalition. They were equal partners to Raila Mulu Odinga. William Ruto is just telling them early enough that such kind of principles, equal partners, should not arise in their new alliance. That's a message William Ruto is making clear to Wetangula and Mudavadi. And then Johnson Mudama goes on to state that they have not yet sealed formally 
entered into a coalition agreement with Mudavadi and Wetangula. What does that mean? In my considered opinion, William Ruto has realized that he has gotten a raw deal from Mudavadi and Moses Masika Wetangula. Mudavadi and Wetangula have joined William Ruto just as individuals, as Mudavadi and as Wetangula. And that is because all their elected leaders have dumped them. All their elected leaders have defected to Azimio. So Mudavadi joins William Ruto with no elected leaders at all. That is one thing. And then secondly, the ground has also seemingly dumped Mudavadi and Wetangula. So again, William Ruto stands to gain nothing on the ground as a result of working with Mudavadi and Wetangula. So William Ruto believes he has gotten a raw deal from these two leaders. So William Ruto in a nutshell is just trying to renegade or rather to go back, to go back a little bit, to have a second thought. Is this alliance between himself and Mudavadi and Wetangula, is it worth it? That is something William Ruto maybe is asking himself. He is having a second thought. And then on top of that, Mudama is trying to comfort and console their support base. That in the event they enter into formal agreement with anybody, they will let them know. What does that mean? William Ruto through Mudama is cleverly trying to appease their Mount Kenya support base. He is just trying to tell Mount Kenya that it's not yet. They have not yet entered into any political agreement or engagement with any other person. And the things still remain the same as they were. So in a nutshell, William Ruto is cleverly trying to distance himself from Mudavadi and also from Moses Masika Wetangula. He wants to appease his Mount Kenya support base. Why is he trying to do that? I strongly believe, ladies and gentlemen, that William Ruto stating that actually he entered into a coalition or intends to work with Mudavadi and Wetangula are really causing him a lot politically on the ground. He starts to lose more than actually to gain. Simply because all along, William Ruto has been stating that he's going to form a government with Mamamboga Boda Boda, what were Chini, what were Vyosa. Upon Mudavadi and Wetangula joining him, it has become very hard for William Ruto to continue with that narrative because now Kenyans are asking and UNED asked that same question. Is Mudavadi and Wetangula the Mamamboga we was actually talking about? Yes. So William Ruto's narrative that all along he has been using and that narrative of his was actually attracting some people to him. He can no longer that, use that narrative very, very effectively. And then secondly, William Ruto has been on record stating that at some people sat at a corner and were planning to share power between themselves. He was accusing the Azimio team, Uhuru and Raila Molo Odinga. But ironically, Uhuru and Raila Molo Odinga have not even unveiled their power structure, their power agreements. But William Ruto, the person who has been accusing Uhuru and Raila, his power structure has leaked out. And looking at the power structure that has leaked out, it's very clear that Ruto, Wetangula, and Mudavadi sat somewhere. Maybe to use William Ruto's term, they might have sat somewhere at a corner, in a room, somewhere, somewhere hidden at a corner. And they agreed to share power be among themselves. And then also they agreed to share power to accommodate their allies. And that was evident in the case of Nairobi, Kakamega, Bungoma, and Transuia. In Nairobi, through that leaked power structure that was unveiled by a standard newspaper, in Nairobi it was very clear that it's Mudavadi to nominate the gubernatorial candidates to contest in Nairobi. And that was seen as if Mudavadi and Ruto, they had settled on Cleophas Malala. So that agreement was, was made with Cleophas Malala in mind. They have, not, they have just actually shared power. To, or, or rather they have given that power to one of their allies, Sakaja, and not Amamamoga. 
And then in Bungoma, it was Masika Wetangula to nominate the gubernatorial candidate for that alliance. And the person is, in my idea, is Kenneth Lusaka. So that, that agreement was made in mind with Kenneth, Kenneth Lusaka. So these people sat somewhere and agreed that it's Kenneth Lusaka to go for Bungoma gubernatorial seat and not any other Mamamboga or whichever. Same to Transoia, <laughs> Kiminini member of parliament, Chris Wamalwa, and then Senator Transoia, Alan Chesan, a William Ruto ally. So it seems to appear that William Ruto and Mudawadi and Wetangula, they sat somewhere and shared power to their close political associates and allies, and not actually Mamamboga. So again, here William Ruto is being exposed as a liar, a propagandist. He was accusing the other side of sharing power and positions among themselves. The other side has not even unveiled their power structure. William Ruto has been exposed as sharing power between himself and his allies and also people close to them. So again, if you look at all that, ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto, I know in the recent days, has found it very, very hard to continue with that kind of narrative. He can no longer use that to campaign, and that is complicated, complicating things for William Ruto. Recently, or rather yesterday, I saw William Ruto campaigning, and he was now trying to bring another new narrative that now the political party's amendment bill was actually made, <laughs> was made maybe now to make sure that Raila Mulodinga was been cheating all along, cannot continue to cheat. But that was not all that convincing. It seems to appear that now William Ruto wants to dump eh, the, the narratives he has been using because he can no longer use them as a result of joining, of Mudavadi and Wetangula joining him. So in, in summary, Mudama is just trying to tell Mudavadi and Wetangula that Mudavadi and Wetangula joining William Ruto has no value to William Ruto. And maybe Mu William Ruto here might be having a second thought. He is actually asking himself, is, is this alliance worth it? So William Ruto also in one way or the other is still trying to open doors for other stronger politicians he can actually work with. And I know at this juncture, if William Ruto can get a formidable personality, somebody like Kalonzo Musioka, he will easily kick out Mudavadi and Wetangula because he believes they are adding him no value. And also William Ruto is just trying to appease the Mount Kenya, his Mount Kenya bedrock that is, seem, that is seemingly slipping away from him. William Ruto believes that his, his chance to lose more by working with Musalia Mudavadi and Wetangula than not working with them at all. I tend to believe, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what William Ruto is just trying to say through Johnston Mudama, Oda's national chairman. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did state when we were starting, if you've just bumped here for the very first time and you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. And to our fans and subscribers here, we are almost hitting 20,000 fans. It has been a long journey, and we are still going far. So I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamusana, tamusana, tamusana.